Okay, so what's crossing you here, here is the Justice. Um, so this is a major arcana card, and what I do sense is that, um, you know, it deals with the karmic balance, and this card is coming out for quite a few uh, signs. So what I would say is that um, it is the period of Mercury in retrograde. It is starting on May 18th and lasting until June 11th. So it's important to, like, right the wrongs in our lives, and I do sense at the same time for those of you who are dealing with like uh, people cycling in or even like situations where you feel like an in innate sense of um, lack of uh, balance within, you know, within partnerships, within uh, in the work front, I do feel that a lot of it is going to alleviate for you for this week, okay? As for your recent past, I do have the Temperance card, and the Temperance card is also a card of balance. It deals with emotional uh, balance, okay? So this is a very fine line here, and it's... Um, what I'm sensing here is in the past, you were able to achieve this. You were able to like be less impulsive and to think things through a little bit more. However, coming into this week, there are news. There, There is something in your midst that is going to excite you, okay? That's going to bring about like a drastic change in your life. However, crossing it is the justice, which also indicates balance. So what I would say is maintain your composure. Don't move forward like, you know, full speed because Mercury in retrograde is notorious for making us regret decisions that are made during the time frame. And then, you know, after June 11th, we might regret certain decisions that are made. Okay, so hold off on it a little bit is, is the message that I am getting. As for what's coming in here is the hermit in the reverse position. Okay, so it's corroborating the same message in that you need to look back at the past and figure out, you know, how you can move forward with this. So a little bit of um, taking some time off, hesitate, you know, sleep on it before you move forward before you make a decision would be more favorable for you, okay? What's crowning you here is the world in the reverse position, okay? So things are not always what they seem, so be a little bit more careful. As for the uh, energy that is in the picture that you are not aware of is the Four of Cups. Okay, so this can play out in two ways. So basically, what's crowning you is the world in the reverse position. So this is basically... Um, don't expand too fast, okay? Because um, you're probably moving forward ahead with something in which you don't have full information. So don't expand too fast. So um, what's in the picture that you're not aware of is um, you're kind of like, so the Four of Cups in the traditional Tarot indicates, you know, it's like that man, he's under that tree and there are three cups in front of him. The universe is reaching out and hand, handing him one extra cup. And there's like a very obstinate energy in that spread, uh, in that deck. In this deck, what it indicates to me is, um, you know, this is it in the uh, upright position, okay? So you have like choices, okay? And I am afraid that you're not moving forward with the right one. Hence, the advice here is take a moment and really look at the situation and figure out if this is going to serve your greater happiness and your greater good, okay? I do feel there are, uh, are other choices that is going to be more favorable, but you're kind of like um, tunneled vision at this point because this thing looks really good and it looks like it's too good to be true, so you want to jump on it. But take a moment, okay? So take some time off and really look at this situation. Lay out all the possibilities and see what is the best option for you before you take any step to move forward. As for the advice here is the high priestess. Okay, once again, you're not seeing the big picture, okay? This is an unveiling process. It is in the reverse position here. So you are kind of blindsided by something in your midst in which um, you are very excited about it, but it is not going to be conducive for um, good things. So, you know, um, I wouldn't say, like, it's going to be detrimental in any way because, you know, the world card is good regardless. However, I do feel that out of the four options, you really have to weigh the pros and cons, and you really have to take some more time because you have a lot of options um, lined up for you. So it's just important to, like, um, you know, do a... Um, so, for example, when the universe gives you opportunities, <clears throat> it's important for you to reflect on all those opportunities, okay? It's just the wise thing to do. So take a moment and try to figure that out first, because I do feel that you might not have cl enough clarity right now 
due to the Mercury in retrograde, okay, more than anything. And as for your external environment, is the Six of Coins. The Six of Coins is basically receiving financial as assistance and also dishing out uh, financial as assistance, okay? So helping others or receiving help in this capacity. And it can be help in, you know, any type of way, but what I do feel here is... Um, Due to the other cards, I do sense that it is not really related to finances. It's basically like getting help from somebody like um, that that is capable of helping you, okay? So the help is well received, okay? And I, I feel that a lot of you might be dealing with a situation in which other people are coming in to offer their assistance. So this is a good energy here. As for what is um, your, your hopes and aspirations here is the devil in the reverse position, which is a good placement for this card. So the devil reverse means kicking old habits, means, you know, being self-reliant in this situation and not having to ask for help. So in the process of like sitting back and not asking for help, um, there is more abundance coming in for you. However, it's important to like pick and choose what it is that you want to move forward with. And I'm sensing here, go with the new, go with like the new energies, go with something that is, um, that hasn't been done before. Okay. So this looks favorable. Um, at the same time with the Mercury and retrograde energy, if there is something that didn't, you know, work out the first time, you know, it just kind of like petered out or it just, um, it was just like a flop. You can move forward with that project now because of the cosmic energy with the Mercury retrograde, okay? So depending on which side of the coin you fall under, it's important to like gauge how you want to proceed. But either way, this card looks very favorable. This is, you know, not having to rely on other people and being self-sufficient, okay? So you are going to well, you're hoping that you're able to achieve this, but I do feel that um, given everything at your disposal, it is important to keep this goal in mind, to be self-sufficient, to not have to like fall back on things, on unhealthy relationships, unhealthy habits, unhealthy um, like um, toxic links to people and situations from the past. Okay, so moving forward, you want to really be self-sufficient, okay, and know where you're headed as well. So as for the outcome position, we have the King of Swords. This is a very good card. The King of Swords is somebody that is very reasonable, okay? This um, male or female, this is somebody who has a gift of intellect and they use it well. They, you know, some people, they might like, um, they might like to pick fights, they might like to argue, they'd like to debate. And it's just, you know, their pastime. But this person here is really interested in the truth because they believe that everyone should be entitled to the truth so that they can make informed decisions, okay? This is somebody that can help you gain clarity. This is also somebody that can provide you with that assistance so that you can unveil, okay? So that you can, like... um so that you can expose the truth, okay? So the truth can come to light, basically. If this is not a, an external energy, what I do sense, well, you have assistance here, so I do feel that this person will be in your midst, okay? It could potentially be an air sign too, like a um, an Aquarius, a Libra, and a Gemini, somebody who has a very sharp intellect, but they have like... Um, they have really wonderful critical thinking abilities, so they are going to like slice through the BS and you know get to the root of the matter, which is something that you really need right now based on this muddled thinking as well. Okay, so it's important to um, use this person's guidance and expertise in that way so that you can forge your head with full information. Okay, so one of the main thing I would say to watch out for this week is um, first of all, jumping the gun and not having full information, okay? Aside from that, everything else looks very good. On the financial front, you're going to get assistance. So, you know, things are looking good, okay? So don't be impulsive and get full information first before you do anything, okay? And weigh out all your pros and cons before you sign contracts, all right?